Hey everyone, we've got a great new feature for you today. We now offer you a choice in how you want to recycle your content. So a little background, most scheduling tools will offer one or the other. You can either recycle your content based on a requeue, meaning that once that content posts, then it will go to the back of the line using a queue schedule. The other way is they might offer a way to just simply publish it every two weeks or publish it every week or day or month or year, whatever that's going to be. Um, we offer either one and you can choose on each post. So you might have one post that you wanna requeue. That's what we've always offered. Um, or now you might have a post that makes more sense to send out every month. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, let's type a quick one. Now we've got a post set up. We've already got our social media profile selected. So now I'm gonna check repost. So you'll notice that the default is what we've always offered, which is to use the queue schedule. And you'll be very familiar with all of these options. These have not changed. We haven't messed with your requeue. So this is now what requeue looks like. That's the default, but now you've got a new option. You can schedule this every one day until we remove it from the queue, and it will do it only on these selected social profiles. And note that it will only show the social profiles that you have selected up here. So if I deselect Google My Business, then it's only going to allow these options, obviously. But what I can do is, if I don't wanna flood my LinkedIn with the same content, I can switch that off. And now it will only repost to these two social profiles. So let's go over some of these options. Um, first of all, I can change this number so I can make it go out every five days until I remove it from the queue, or I can make it every five years. Um, if you chose that, literally it would wait five years before it would post again. Um, so let's choose every five weeks until I remove from the queue. Other options here are until this many reposts, and what this will do is, like, let's say I only want this to go out twice, and then I want it to automatically um, remove itself from the queue, expire from the queue. So what would happen here is once it posted the first time, it would wait five weeks from that moment, and it would repost again. And um, five weeks from that moment, it would repost once more, and then it would vanish from the queue. It would be all done with its recycling job. Um, there's another option here we can say until this date. So just to keep things simple, you can just say, you know what, I'm going to repost this until the very end of the year. And then it's time for a new set of content. So now it's going to, so in this case, it would repost every five weeks. And once the end of the year came around, it would automatically remove itself and expire itself from the queue. So when I send something, um, that time that I send, the initial time that I send, it's going to use that time. And all of the reposts, just like with our requeues, do not do anything until that first post goes out. And here's why I say that. Um, let's say I have a post, I'm gonna turn off reposting for now. Um, and let's just look at our options for the initial post. For the initial post, I can add it to the queue meaning it will go out during the next scheduled time for the category I select, or I can send it immediately and publish it now, or I can schedule it for a specific point in the future. So just to give you an idea here, let's schedule this thing, um, and let's select a date for the schedule. Let's schedule this thing for August 4th at 2 p.m. Okay, so now this is going to go out August 4th, 2 p.m. Now let's say I want to recycle this content. So I'm going to repost it every two days through the end of the year. So let's go through what would happen in this instance. On August 4th, 2021, all four of these networks are going to fire. And it's going to post this on August 4th to all these networks then it's going to be added back into our queue folder for two weeks later, only on Facebook and Instagram. You'll notice that Twitter 
is selected for the initial uh, post, but it is not selected for the repost. And the reason for that is the same reason we don't requeue tweets. Twitter has a very strict policy against reposting. So um, Twitter will never be present in your reposts, only the other social networks. So again, let's get back to our example. So August 4th, the initial post goes out to all networks. Then it will show up in your queue folder as a repost. And it will tell you that um, it will only continue to repost until 12-31-2021. So you'll see what your initial selection was. And it will also show you that it's going out two days later. So it will show up as an 8-6, an August 6th repost at 2 p.m. It uses the same exact time as your initial post. Then once that one posts, it will show up again in your queue folder for August the 8th, two days later. It will keep doing that and keep posting every two days to these networks until the time that you tell it to expire. So it's extremely flexible. And I hope you guys get a lot of really terrific use out of this. Like I said before, the queue folder will tell you what all your reposts are. And if you ever wanted to stop reposting, all you have to do is delete that repost in your queue and it will stop reposting. So if you guys have any questions about how the repost feature works, always you can reach out to us in live chat. Looking forward to your feedback on this and have a great day.